Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be educating you on um, the prevention of metabolic bone disorder in all ages of opossums. Uh, metabolic bone disorder is a deficiency in calcium and vitamin D. What causes it, um, the metabolic bone disorder, is the, the bones aren't absorbing the calcium that they need because their diet is poor. They have a poor diet. Um, the recipe consists of kale, non-fat, sugar-free yogurt, and cat food or dog food. You'll want to use one-to-one -one ratio, one cup cat food, one cup kale, one cup, um, one cup dog food or cat food. If you need to make more because you are caring for more opossums, you can actually double it, triple it, quadruple it, whatever you need to do. You can freeze it and instead of, you know, making it every single day, which is a pain in the butt because you have to sit there and blend it, blah, blah, blah. You can freeze it and that is, you know, take it out as you need it, unthaw it. Um, and you'll want to blend it in a blender. That's the most important thing you want to do because an opossum will pick and choose what they want to eat and that's it. They won't eat anything else. I see a lot of people feeding their opossums like eggs and carrots and stuff. That's fine as treats, but for your main diet, I would recommend you have to blend it. Okay, and you can change the consistency. Babies, younger opossums, I wouldn't have it the consistency of pudding or a little bit thicker. Older opossums, I would get, as they get older, consistency of oatmeal. Um, this, my baby opossums are about 12 weeks old. I have a teenager too. Her name's Gladys. My babies are Nubbers and Bubbles. Nubbers has missing toes. And my oldest is about two. Her name's Opal. But this is the consistency that I give them. It's right there. It's like a, a little bit thicker than pudding, more like a porridge, a thicker cream of wheat. Um, if it's, when you go to blend it in the blender and it is a little thick, you can add, I add um, um, puppy formula, which you can purchase at um, Walmart or whatever, it's only $10. Um, you want to mix that one, one scoop per two ounces of water. You add that to your, to your mixture in your blender and you blend it to make it, that's why I make it thinner. Or you could add water if they're, if they're okay, you know, if they're healthy. Um, signs of the metabolic bone disorder is, um, they are tremors, um, hair loss, um, lethargy, you know, a baby possum that's under one year and younger, they should not be sleeping 20 hours a day, you know, t not even 10 hours. That's too much. Um, you'll notice they're, they'll hunch, like their back will get a hunt, like a hunt, hump, a hunch to it. Their, their gait, their walk will be very, um, shuffly. They'll shuffle and they won't be able to use their, um, their legs correctly, their front legs and their hind legs. And also, um, their, their jaw, the, it will gape open on the sides. Um, and it, it can get deformed to the point where they're not, they won't eat. And it happens quickly, fairly quickly, because it, ha it starts on the inside and it, and once you start to see signs and symptoms of it, it's, it's, you know, been going on longer than what you realize. They, they don't, they don't show you that they're in pain because they're animals. That's their nature. Uh, so you won't know, you know, you won't know until they're, they're hurting really bad, you know that they won't, they won't eat, you, you know, they won't drink, they'll just sleep and sleep, and next thing you know, you're like, why is my possum not walking correctly? Uh, you wanna make sure they're hydrated at all times too, Pro, um, provide a lot of water. I, I use a um, bunny water bottle with the little ball, is, is my, old, my older possum, Opal. She, I use that with her. She, um, and, you know, as they, they lick at the tube, the metal tube and the little balls in there, and they can get as much water as they want. But you want to also provide them with a, um, the older they are, the, you know, the bigger the, the dish you want to use for them to be able to get in the water. Because they like to urinate and defecate in, in water for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, but it, it's really interesting learning all these things. Uh, you can also use this formula, this diet, all ages. 
because they, it doesn't matter if they're babies or, or they're full grown, they can still develop the metabolic bone disorder if you're not feeding them the correct diet. You know, they, I feed them mine this every day and they have not gotten it yet again. Like Opal hasn't gotten it again. She's actually had it. Um, and my babies are, they're beautiful. They're healthy, pink tails, pink noses. Another sign is their nose, um, will be white and their tail will look a little whitish. Their, their little claws will look a little white. That's another sign of, that I've noticed of they're not getting enough water or, or supplements. Um, always make sure their water's clean. And this formula, this mixture of food, the, the kale yogurt and cat food, dog food, you know, you don't want to keep it in the fridge for over three days. They won't eat it. They know it's spoiled. If something makes them sick, they won't eat it again for a year because they know the smell of it. They remember for an entire year. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Um, another thing you can do to prevent the metabolic bone disorder and help their calcium um, absorption in their bone is put them in indirect sunlight for 30 minutes a day. Um, do not put them in direct sunlight because it, it will kill them. If it's, you know, they get too hot, their temperatures actually run a little bit lower than other mammals. Um, it's a few, good few degrees lower. So if they're, they're out with you, you may not seem like you're, you know, if you're sweating, imagine how hot they are because they have, their th coats are very, very thick and they can't, once they get hot, it's hard for them to get cool because they can't take their, their coat off. Um, that happened to me and Opal about two weeks ago. We were on my back porch. It wasn't real hot, but she was, you know, running around getting all worked up and playing, playing in her, whatever she does, you know, being a possum. And she started acting goofy. I thought she was just laying there because she was tired. Here she was overheated, so I had to get ice packs and put one on her belly, put her little paws on cool wash rags, and put a fan on her and she perked right up. I gave her some water. She was all right, but it's, it's very dangerous. Um, if they're older and they start to develop the signs, the tremors, the, the hair loss, the lethargy, the, um, shuffling gait, you want to start them over as if they're, they're babies again and provide them with puppy supplement, um, all over again and increase their intake of the calcium and vitamin D. I would not recommend supplements like um, stuff you can buy at a vitamin store because it's that's not good for them. Um, you can actually buy calcium supplements at your local pet store. Um, um, I think it comes in powder. You can just sprinkle it on their their food, but I I've never used it. I use this calcium or the yogurt kale and uh, dog food cat food mix. Uh, religiously. It, I'm not saying you can't give them treats. You know, I give mine little slices of pizza, a piece of pepperoni, a, a, a cheese single, a cookie, a cracker here and there. Um, bones. Bones are good. Um, they provide uh, calcium also. Make sure they're like a pork chop bone. As long as they got marrow in them because they want to get that marrow. It, it helps them a lot with their, their, um, their blood count, keep it, just keeping them good, healthy. You can give them them. I, I give them mine chicken bones, even though people say, oh, chicken bones. No, I did. I have, and nothing's ever happened to mine so far, knock on wood. Because if you think about it, they eat all the garbage anyways in the wild. Um, and they eat whatever. They, oh, and eggs, egg powder. You can get egg powder. You can actually make your own egg powder um, out of eggshells. That will help immensely with calcium deficiency also. You can add eggshells to a, um, food processor and make a powder into it and just sprinkle, you know, three tablespoons of it on whatever you're giving them to me. You can't really give them, I don't think, too much calcium, but if you do, they will get diarrhea, so watch out for that. Their, their, um, feces should be a, um, almost like the green on my shirt right here, this darker green. It should be like that, um, and kind of soft and kind of hard, if you know what I mean. Like it's softer, it looks wet, it's not dry. It's dry, they're dehydrated. Um, another way to um, tell if they are dehydrated, you can pull the back, the scruff of their neck and pull it up. And if it takes a while for it to go back down, they're dehydrated, that's not good. Um, and that's about it. I mean, if you have any questions, you know, I'm gonna post the recipe below. Um, I'm actually going to show you my 
my opal, uh, what happened to her from the metabolic bone disorder. She had just a touch of it, but it, it, you can reverse it. Um, feel free to share my video with your opossum friends. Um, I'm going to show you opal now. If you have any questions too, just drop them below and I'll, I'll be more than happy to answer them. I'm also going to be posting more videos about opossum care and signs and different things, opossum behavior to look for, that's good, what's bad. Uh, you can, how to litter train, how to just do different things to, to make your opossums happier, you know, every day. Um, I do, I tried to release Gladys, my one, but she came back and she was not in good shape. She was filthy, dirty, injured. I felt awful. I actually cried. So she's actually on the back porch. We'll wait until she gets a little bit older. Maybe opal size, which here's opal. Maybe oh, uh, opal size. And I'm going to um, let her go because I would just feel awful if something happened to her as a baby. Here's opal. She hurt her nose. She's so bad. She's always into something. Huh, girl? Huh, girlfriend? Huh, baby girl? What's wrong? Are you being bad today? Here. See her little foot there? Um, that's what happened. Foot's supposed to look like that. And if you notice, she's standing up, but her legs are bowed. She's very, very short-legged um, in the front. Her front legs are very, uh, they're a lot shorter than her back legs. It doesn't, it doesn't stop her from getting around. She's pretty good at, she runs, she runs some more, she runs some more. <laughs> she pretty much walks around the house like she's on a mission 24 seven. And that's just what possums do because they're scavengers. They want to look for food and they just like to run. But if, um, you know, feel free to contact me anytime on your opossum care and look and watch out for some more videos. So have a great day and I will see you soon.